in a church in Florida, the Dove World Outreach Center. Doesn't it sound lovely and very peaceful, Dove Outreach? Well, a guy by the name of Terry Jones, he's got a brilliant idea. He wants to make the ninth anniversary of 9-11 um, into worldwide uh, Quran burning day. So at his church, they're going to burn a Quran. Uh, in fact, one of his church members already has an instructional video up on how you should burn the Quran and why you should burn the Quran. This guy has a terribly sordid past, which I'm going to tell you about. But first, let's watch Rick Sanchez interview him about this issue. That's right. On the anniversary of September 11th attacks in our country, the Dove World Outreach Center is hosting what they're calling International Burn a Quran Day. Uh, church members, yes, church members, Christians, plan to set fire to copies of another faith's most sacred book. The pastor of this church, his name is Terry Jones. He believes that Islam is of the devil. Do you know how many, do you know how many Muslims there are in the world? I think there's about 1.5 billion. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guess I ask you that question because that's a very big number. What, why would you want to do this to 1.5 billion people, as you say, in the world by burning their most sacred book? That's crazy. Well, well, for one thing, for us, the book is not, not sacred. But it is for them. Uh, but it is for them. By us doing this action, so if, but if not I don't, us. But I don't mean to interrupt, but you just told me something that's ridiculous. To you, it's not sacred. How about it's sacred to them? That's like saying I'm going to burn down your house because I don't like your house. It's not my place to burn down no, your house. we're not house. burning down a house. And no. what, what we are also doing by the burning of the Quran on 9-11, we're saying stop. We're saying stop to Islam, stop to Islamic law, stop to brutality. We have nothing against Muslims. They are welcome in our country. Uh, they, have, they are welcome to worship. We have freedom of worship. We have freedom of speech. They are welcome. What is not welcome? So, what if, we are so, saying with the so, burning of the Quran, so, so, so how what is you, not welcome is Islamic law and how the would brutality you, of Islamic law. That is what's not welcome. How would you feel if a Muslim said to you what you just said to them, I have no problem with you, Mr. Christian. Uh, you're welcomed in my country, but I'm burning your Bible. How would you feel? I would not like it, but it's their right. We live in America. That's right. <laughs> Muslims are welcome, just not their dirty, evil religion. What's there not to understand? Uh, and I love how he says, we're telling them to stop the brutality. That's why we're going to burn their book down. <laughs> okay. It's kind of like when the Muslims would riot saying, how dare you call us a violent religion? Well, that's not the best way to show you're not, right? And same goes for this Terry Jones character. Now, let's find out more about Terry Jones. First of all, he really likes merchandising. Uh, he has his parishioners uh, do shirts, and they, he actually had their kids going to, to school with them. Remember this? This happened, uh, we'd covered the story earlier. Kids went into school with shirts that said, Islam is of the devil. And then they are selling these shirts on their website, on eBay, etc. And then they had a, had a campaign against the local mayor in Florida as well. They were saying this cute sign they had come up with there is no homo mayor. At least you see where they're coming from. They're pretty clear on that. So now here's the part you might not know, though. Turns out Terry Jones and his wife Sylvia, they got a good little thing going. They get all these people who follow them, they indoctrinate them, and then they put them to work, okay, as any good cult would do. So they, uh, quote, stress obedience to senior pastors, gee, I wonder why, and work for the kingdom of God. Now, what they're doing is, other than the merchandising, they're selling vintage furniture on eBay. Okay, so what they do is they have all these guys, you know, help them with this vintage furniture uh, business, and they say, shush, you got to listen to senior pastors. Be obedient. Do some kingdom of God work, okay? And then you can sell it on eBay and they pocket. Of course! And those people, they tell them, oh, sell your possessions, give them to me. They do, and then the workers do the selling, the packing, the shipping of the furniture, and they're all totally unpaid. But now the county that they live in figured out, hey, you know what? I'm not sure these guys are paying their taxes quite right. And the property appraiser office comes and knocks on their door. All of a sudden, 
the headquarters of the church were suddenly and inexplicably, as this article points out, put on the market. Where I want to stay, stay, stay. Where I want to run, run, run. Shocking, it turns out that that guy would turn out to be a scam artist who, of you know, all people, would scam his own followers. I didn't see that coming. Don't trust these people, man. Watch out for people bearing God. Okay, because there's, there's some chance that they're not actually talking to them.